Well, hello guys, and here today on the Rusty Glove Box, what we're going to do today is we're going to build a propane burner so in the near future we can do some sand casting out of aluminum. Uh, this is an interest that I've had for quite some time now, and I've been watching all different types of YouTube channels, like uh, I've been watching SW Dweeb. Uh, he's been putting out a lot of videos on... Uh, you know technical information how to build and, and all that and I'll be sure and put a link down below to his channel so y'all check him out if you can but uh, what I'm gonna do today is I'm going to build my propane burner well here's some of the parts that I'd gotten and uh, this is a inch and a half to one inch bell reducer a uh, 12 inch long one inch pipe and this is a piece of uh, inch and a quarter five inches long and uh, it's going to go together something like this this is uh, the pipe here on the end is going to be how I kind of fine-tune my flame on how robust it is and everything well this is my thinking on this right here uh, this collar is suspended by these uh, rods and I'm going to weld the rods at the correct point and then cut them off. And this way I can feed the jet tube in and out of that collar and then uh, kind of fine tune it if it makes any difference at all where I put it. So. Well I thought this was pretty good to show you know on, on how to get that piece of pipe centered inside that other pipe so that you're not having to bend everything so much and what I did is just took a piece of cardboard and so then slide it in the one inch pipe and that's going to keep this pipe centered inside that one then what I can do is slide my bell on actually pull that out a little bit if I need to and that way I'll be able to get this centered the way I need it to be well here's what we have right now and uh, what I'll do is I'll dress these up a little bit they're a little blobby but uh, anyway I've got my collar right in the center and I'll have a set screw here and that's going to keep my tube in the center of my pipe. What I've done right here is I've installed the the end nozzle and it's just the next size larger pipe. This is an inch and a quarter pipe and uh, it was originally a five inch piece. I cut the threads off and flared it and now uh, I use just two thin pieces of wire to make it a tight fit to where it would uh, be kind of a press fit onto the one inch pipe. Here we have a propane tank and I have the valve that's shut off at the blower nozzle. I have it turned on now and so I'm going to watch the gauge. And we're going to get it up to 20 psi Well, here's our completed burner, uh, fully assembled, and um, I'll tell you, I think we'll take it out in the shop, turn the lights out, and see what the flame looks like. All right, well, we're getting ready to fire it up, so let's see how this goes. pretty good. Here's a couple of propane tanks and uh, I'm going to use one of them for my uh, furnace. 
Well, I tell you what, guys, I tell you, I am really excited about that propane burner, and that looks like something we can work with. And so, just like I showed you my tanks that I have, they're the kind of the taller uh, RV propane tank, and they're, they're both uh, past their certification date, and I'd have to send them off and get them recertified and all that. And I figured by the time I did all that, it'd be more than what the tank was worth, so... What I'm going to do is I'm going to use them possibly to build my furnace with. So that'll be in an upcoming video. I tell you, things are looking hot here. So as always, I appreciate y'all coming by. This is Rusty Glove Box, and I'm out of here.